All right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 5.3, calculating circumference. Okay, you can follow along on page 156 in your textbooks, and the goal is to develop and apply the formula for the circumference of a circle. We're going to be looking at a couple. All right, so either one will work, and you can use whatever feel com feels comfortable. But in the meantime, let us begin with the tail end of the last lesson. Okay, um, relationship between the radius, diameter, and the circumference. Okay, now. Assuming these are the same circles, okay? Uh, the radius and the diameter, their relationship is as follows. The radius is half the diameter, okay? Or 0.5, or divided by 2, okay? So the radius and diameter, radius is half, write this down. The radius is half the di of the diameter. Assuming that's the same circle, but in the same circle, that to that is the radius. Diameter is the whole thing from one end to the other. Okay, raise half of that. Okay, in turn, diameter is double twice the radius. All right, so all you need to know is the radius is half the diameter, or the diameter is twice the radius, or double the radius. So you need to know that. So write that down, go back again, listen to me ramble on about radius and diameter again. Just make sure you get in your notes. Okay. Now, what's the relationship between the circumference and the diameter? Well, ancient math mythology says that way, 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 way before our time, many, like the Jedi Council of Mathematicians, I think, got together and realized through much inquiring, hashtag TCDSP inquiry, um, that the circumference is approximately just over three times the diameter, okay? Three times the diameter. Now I'm going to come back to this and tell you exactly, well, it's not exact, but it's very close. So that brings us to um, what is that relationship called and how can we signify it in the formula? Well, I'm going to use pi, all right? Pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle. Its values 3.1415965 etc. etc. Cetera, et cetera. It goes on for a while, okay? Or about 3.14, all right, when it's rounded to two decimals, okay? So essentially, the relationship between the diameter and the circumference is the diameter is three, you multiply it by 3.14, okay? and you will get the circumference of the circle. So essentially, that relationship between the diameter and the circumference is 3.14. So diameter times 3.14, okay? And then what is 3.14? 3.14 is pi, okay? So in your formula, that is what you will be using. And let's talk about those formulas for a second. Before we do, pause right now and take this down. All right, doesn't really matter about this, but what you need to know is pi equals 3.14. All right, good, good. Pause if you need to. And then we'll start again and go. All right, so let's take a look at these. Now, this is the, these are two ways, two formulas that you can use to find circumference. All right, these are different circles, okay, and you're going to get a different result, okay. But you can use either one of these formulas, equations, to find the circumference, all right? So let's take a look at this one. Now, the diameter, okay, the diameter passing through the center, okay, from one end to the other, is 12 centimeters. So let's plug that in, okay? Circumference equals 3.14, okay? Here's your variable, 12, okay? What is it? Okay, it's 37.68. All right, so it's very simple. Now what's your unit? Centimeters. Lovely. All right, this one's a little bit more complicated, but not so much. All right, you have your variables that you can plug in. Okay, so here you have two times 3.14, because that's pi times the radius. What's the radius? 8 meters. Okay, there you have it. So, now you do this one at a time. 
okay, 2 times 3.14, then times 8, but I do this all in one shot. And the answer is, using this formula, 24, 50.24 meters, okay? So either one works, okay? And you can use this with this formula, but I'm going to show you how at the end. Okay, but write these down. Write both these examples down. Write your write the uh, example. Draw this. Okay, I hope you're using a compass. Okay, so uh, draw these examples. Okay, calculate and draw and copy that, and you're good. And we will review. All right, finally, let's reflect, shall we? We shall. All right. How would you calculate the circumference of a circle if you know only its radius? Okay, well, there is the formula that we used. Okay, radius times no, two times rad two times pi equals radius. So you can use that. That you can use. Now remember what the relationship between the radius and diameter is. Okay, radius you double it. Okay. And then you will get the diameter and you can use this formula or once you've doubled it you can say roughly okay let's just say the radius is two two centimeters well if you double it it's four centimeters okay and then what's the relationship between the diameter and the circumference well it's approximately approximately just over three for our argument's sake today so you don't multiply a decimal okay times 3. So what's the circumference going to be? 12. Roughly. Not as much because 3.14 but roughly it's going to be that. Okay? So that's the way you can do it. Alright? Um, now, now, if you knew the circumference of a circle, how would you estimate its diameter? Wow. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Not really. If you knew the circumference, let's just say the circumference is, as we used our previous example, let's just say the circumference is 37.68. Well, what's our relationship? That's the diameter. Okay? The diameter is multiplied by 3.14 to get to this. Well, if you're using multiplication, you're going to divide this by 3.14 and you're going to get the diameter of 12. Easy stuff because if we use this example right here, okay, diameter is 12. Here's your answer. Okay, we multiplied pi times 12 to get your to get your circumference. Well, it works the other way too. Because you're multiplying the opposite equation is is division. Okay? So, easy, easy stuff. When you multiply something, to go the other way, use division. Easy, simple stuff. All right, hopefully this was uh, fun and informative. I know it was for me. And I'll see you next day. All right, make sure you take some good notes. I'll be checking. And uh, have a good evening, weekend, or rest of the day. Anyway, see you soon. Laters.